what happens there. We'll but we need to start looking ahead to next season. Today, oh, really? the draft lottery came out. Top five picks are in. Number one, Minnesota Timberwolves. Okay, Minnesota. Number two, Los Angeles Lakers. Number three, Philadelphia 76ers. Number four, New York Knicks. Number five, Orlando Magic. Gentlemen, thoughts, what? top five picks. Well, before we give our thoughts, I know there's someone that oh, might be yes. a little bit disappointed. So, once again, we kick it over there to Shed over there in Shed's block. Shed, what do you have for us? What the f***? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are you serious? <laughs> I'm just out on my orange and blue attire. <laughs> I thought we had at least the number two pick. <laughs> and then... The car comes out and I see us with the number four almost flipped. I lost it. But you know what? I got to remain optimistic. I mean, the summer is not over with. Phil Jackson still has an opportunity to win my favor, but I'm a little thin right now. With the number four pick, hmm, if we get a point guard at that position, I don't know what the Lakers is going to do with that number two pick, but congratulations to the Lakers and all my Lakers friends out there. I know you're going to be talking crap too, but... Good job, you got the number two pick, but you guys are still in the same boat as us, so I don't care. Timberwolves, I'm, I'm really happy for the Timberwolves, though. I think they should get Carl Anthony Towns. They could build off for him and Wiggins and really kind of build that future. Like I told you guys, in a couple years, the Timberwolves are going to be legit, and this is starting to, starting to form its way with that way, um, building that young talent. But, man, so disappointing in the Knicks. We got the 76ers with the number three pick. You know, they, they stay in the lottery, it seems like. You know, these guys are just stealing draft picks left and right every year. But I don't know, man. It's, it's crazy. Orlando Magic, you know, they can probably get uh, Justice Winslow at, at the number five spot. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. But, fellas, tell me your thoughts. I know you're going to give me crap about my Knicks, but go ahead. I don't even care no more. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ty, because I have breaking news to break in a few minutes. Oh, this is true. This is true. I talk about teams who don't care. Not only did the 76ers get the number three pick, they sent Nerlens Noel there to represent them, so they were probably drafting his replacement before they sent him off for <laughs> more picks in the future. Um, you went through the five teams, and Steve, you mentioned them last, the player that I'm most excited for. I obviously want to talk about who the first big man is going to be off the board, mm -hmm. but Justice Winslow. After what he did inside the tournament, didn't do as great in the final game. He made a few big shots down the stretch, but I like Justice. I think the team that gets Justice Winslow is getting them a player with a lot of heart, with who's not going to back down, who's really going to strive and has that hunger. Uh, he reminds me of uh, Jimmy Butler, Kawhi Leonard type. You know, a, a player who will work for it and get progressively, progressively better. I think Justin Winslow is a top 10 pick. I don't know if he's going to be a top five pick. Shoot. Uh, and I say that because we haven't factored in these overseas players that are going to come in, the big guys from overseas, um, even with Jalil Okafor and uh, Carl Anthony Town. So, like, all those people. But those overseas guys kind of slip in on us. He's definitely going to be a top ten, top five. I don't see him up there. So, before I get into the breaking news that was go. just <laughs> ran past the desk, let me give my – Top five mock draft because that's things that we like to do right now. Uh -huh. So number one, Minnesota Timberwolves. You need somebody in the inside that can not only score but can also block shots. That's why I think they would go with Carl Anthony Towns. There, number yes. two, the Lakers. I think that they need a presence. They need a big man to run the show. Jalil Okafor, I think, works well for them. Can't say Lakers without a big man. Exactly. So and number Sacre three, is not doing it. You know, and number three. Now, the Sixers have collected every big man possible for the last four years. This year, Andrew I think they Michael. actually finally get a point guard. A point guard out of Ohio State, D'Angelo oh, Russell, who I <laughs> think might be the best prospect within this class right now. I Man, like D'Angelo Russell's game. Up, Number four, soon. the New York Knicks. We'll save them a little bit later after this. Number five, I think Justice Winslow goes to the Orlando Magic and number five to get a running mate with Ola Alpha Depot. Pre, uh, Alpha Payton and Oladipo. That would be nice. But there is breaking news. Go ahead. This has come across the desk. And please turn the camera to Steve's face. <laughs> there are reports that the New York Knicks will not 
draft nobody with the fourth overall pick and they would trade that pick <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> after they were not, after they did not get a top three pick, the reports out of New York is that they're trying to they trade. Care. They're trying to shop the fourth overall pick. <laughs> Yo, Jackson, what are you doing? <laughs> now, oh my remember, God. now remember, this was the man that Steve has entrusted in, but if they do keep the pick, I think they will probably draft somebody like Emmanuel Moutier that was supposed or to Russell, go to if we can get him. Uh, I'm sorry, this is Marvin's mock draft, and Russell was already gone. <laughs> Forget you, Emmanuel Marvin. Emmanuel Moutier that was supposed to go to SMU but went over to China yeah. because of his grace. And I think he would be a nice prospect. But oh, yeah, definitely. definitely funny. I, I want to make it, it official. If the Knicks trade this pick, oh, this would bring so much joy to I my quit. heart. If the Knicks play, trade this pick, I quit. That's you what I'm saying. You, you know, Melo, I got your back. Phil Jackson, I don't know what the hell you doing. That's you know, what I got to say. I'm a Tim Wolves fan. Matter of fact, I'm a Minnesota. I'm a Tim Wolves fan now. Forget all this bull crap about the Knicks. Man, Melo, I love you, but man, it's just hard. It's, it's really hard right now. It's really Anyways, back the camera back on us. You know, it's interesting when the players leave Carmelo, they actually get better. So, you know, when they play around MVP type characters and everything, it's like, proofs in the pudding. It's like you know, that one guy you date and then he going to get married and you keep being that girl oh, that really? prep him for marriage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yes, yes, yes. So oh, okay. Uh, I was, oh, that's that, how you that doing? brings so much, so much joy, so much uh, laughter in my heart. That's but how you doing? 